gambling revenues, Heinz Foundation, and 1% of lottery proceeds for pygmy goat farming research. And I have it. No, 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 no. I have it. I have it. No, no, no. I do. No, no. I'm going first. But uh, I really don't believe that anything you have to say is practical. Fine, then let's get it out of the way. <sighs> all right. Okay. All right, all right. So do, do you remember when I started selling stock in abstract concepts? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Sexual gratification and sexual confusion at ten dollars a share. Precisely. <laughs> did a. Uh... <laughs> Someone must have bought apparently, but did anyone else buy some? Well, actually, Dave Doyle bought five shares of sexual confusion, but sexual confusion had to file Chapter Eleven after the senior VP in charge of awkward go groping got caught constructing a Ponzi scheme around high school sexual experimentation shares. It, 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 it really wasn't pretty. See, see. But uh, anyway, so I took this six-week correspondence course on, on stock, stock brokering, stock, stock brokering shit. Anyway, in, in, in preparation for the sale, of course. Right. And now, I have an idea that is absolutely short work. Uh-oh. We are going to sell stock in the typewriter girls. You do realize that what little money we do have is um, tied up in fines for the mistreatment of animals and the misrepresentation of auction items. There's no reason for any potential investor to ever believe that we could be particularly <coughs> profitable. Besides, we could hardly be teamed a corporation. I mean, a ragtag duo, perhaps, but <laughs> ragtag duos don't have CFOs or boards or anything. But, 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 but we, we do. What? Great. The initial public offering of the typewriter girls was made today at a cost of $25 per share. Trading on Wall Street was brisk, and the typewriter girl board was optimistic at the corporation's future? Yeah! What? That doesn't make look, any sense. Well, who cares? Look, we're, we're, we're publicly <laughs> traded. And look, it even says that the owners control 60% of the shares. So all we have to do is wait for the stock to go up, sell off some of that, and then, boom, there's the money to save the libraries. Right. So, uh, John. Yeah? Can you please dissuade Crystal for this preposterous idea? What as idea? As you have, in fact, smashed our previous schemes to bits. Well, well we're, we're, we're selling slots and paper to girls. Look! I see. Preposterous, now. Seems perfectly practical. What? I'll buy 50 shares. Yeah! Thanks, John! <laughs>
as uh, they uh, are sure to be heartbroken again at the fact that there is no typewriter girl stock, and that I am not the mayor, 